The world has one interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This real story is the ocean story, and it is one we all share. Encounter. My name is Hannah and I'm honored to introduce you to these intriguing and majestic animals. behaviors. We hope today's Orca Encounter gives you a better understanding of these incredible animals and all that they represent. It's a third one. describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. The orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. while they swim. It also helps regulate their body temperature. Since there is no bone or muscle 
structure in this fin at all, sometimes you may see it curve. The flippers on either side of the whale's body are called pectoral flippers, and they're mainly used for steering and stopping. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside of them, just like the human hand. The lobes on either side of their tail are called tail flukes. The tail flukes have a killer whale's engine, propelling them to speeds of almost 30 miles per hour. That's as fast as some of our speedboats. But they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies all the way up and out of the water. use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, caps learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as a form of their communication. They can use pectoral slabs on the surface of the water to show dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother might use a peck slab to get her calf's attention. want to be heard, they breach. Killer whales use spy hopping to get a better view of their environment and coordinate with each other while they hunt. are another form of communication that killer whales can use in the wild and right here at SeaWorld. Food chain. Killer whales work together to rear their young 
protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful bait groups, making for an easy meal. surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The cows then move in to join the adults in the herd. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator. Sea world. Porpoising is when killer whales swim fast at the 
surface. Breaking out of the water just briefly. Sources affect wild populations. 
In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with film footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all over the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share. Yes, that's the